Hey guys, so OnePlus is going all out with the OnePlus 8T. They say it is the never seen before true flagship, which is gonna outperform any top notch flagship phone selling right now. They say it is the industry's best display inside a smartphone. So the OnePlus 8T packs a flexible 2.5D curved display, which is not like 3D curve or like fully flat. You won't find a huge difference between flat and 2.5D curve. However, it's gonna provide you a smooth experience while swiping your screen. The OnePlus 8T gets A plus rating by Display Mate, and the reason is it comes with an insane first ever 8192 levels of brightness adjustment. This is for sure insane, guys. We haven't seen this in any smartphone. Even the 8 Pro uses around 4000 levels of adjustment, so this is super crazy. You guys know OnePlus had many issues with the brightness in 8 Pro. They got some green tint issues and there was this black crush. This time however, they are confident about the display color accuracy and brightness adjustment. So that is a great news. This poster also says we may finally get a manual refresh rate option like 60Hz slash 90Hz slash 120Hz. 90Hz is I think a sweet spot so that would be great. Some new information on 65 watts fast charging. OnePlus is using USB-C to C cable which is what Samsung did with the S20 series. This is a PD fast charging head which can hit maximum 45 watts. You can charge your S20 phone, MacBooks or any other devices which uses PD protocol. They say it can charge OnePlus 80 58% in 15 minutes, 70% in 20 minutes and 100% in just 39 minutes so a super fast charging that also inside your box finally they say we have done significant improvement in the camera and its software yeah they are likely using imx 689 same used in the 8 pro as well so that is good so all these are teasers and claims final hands-on real life experience decides all you can see some S20 FE reviewers are now saying the S20 FE got a poor vibration motor. The fingerprint scanner is not as fast as S20 or S20 Plus. So I would say wait a little more before making any decision. I'll do a full comparison between both these devices. We have the Pixel 5 coming in and cannot ignore the iPhone 12 series this year. The Pixel 5 is gonna be amazing for most, but the yeah, only con is they are using mid-range 765G CPU, not a flagship 865 silicon. The Samsung S20 FE uses Exynos for 4G markets and 865 CPU for 5G markets. So if you are a gamer or like a heavy user, you should keep an eye on the S20 FE, OnePlus 8T and the iPhone 12. So that's all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.